All right, so came back for part two of this video. If you look at the top left of the screen under that H uh, slider, you'll see what the first equation is. And here's the second equation right there. So uh, we'll go over it again. If you're coming into this video without watching the first one, please go back and see because what I'd like to do on this part of the video is start to clean this thing up a little bit to make it really pretty because what we're going to figure out soon is that we can take this 3D off of the screen overlay it to a document and create a true animation so let's see if we can just do this first and there's two ways to do the animation but first I'm going to do is start cleaning this thing up so what I'm going to do here is you would go to menu um, excuse me menu when I when that would take me here to menu and I'm just going to start looking for stuff to clean up like let's hide the axes uh, let's go to action and let's um, mm -hmm. let's go to view and let's hide the box right so so far so good let's go to view and there must be one more thing to hide um, and where the right you know what I'm looking for don't you I'm trying to find the what I was looking for is to hide this so I'm gonna try it for one more second and then don't leave me if I can't find it I'll good okay that makes it better doesn't it so we have all this stuff hidden um, there is a way to hide these but I'm not gonna hide them just yet but look you can take this now and from here we can go to background color and we can really start to make this thing look exceptional you could do something like this and say okay there's our background color and then from there you can decide well is anything clashing here um, one of the students I have came up with a great idea and I didn't see it at all she was like you know what use the background color black and I really it didn't really occur to me but that's pretty cool right yeah I'm kinda of feeling that okay remember that this thing has that TI Inspire has capture capabilities which are up here aren't they and you can screen capture but there are ways to capture this in different ways that I'm trying to figure out how we can capture this and have the movement continue. I know that it exists, and we're going to figure that out. Or that the next best option might be, instead of take, exporting this, it would be to import something. And we're going to talk about how we might import something and maybe have it go across here and think of what that animation would look like especially if you duplicated this animation over and over and we could of course do that we could view okay so I think we have we have somebody said can you actually auto rotate this yeah it's, it's really weird because when you auto rotate which is what's happening right now when you auto rotate it it doesn't seem to go through its iteration very well it's 3d to me kind of goes out a little bit so I'm gonna turn that off I'm I, all right I said I'm gonna turn that off so really okay so here we go rotate because I don't want it to rotate anywhere. Okay, so that's something I'll get worked out. You don't need to bother with it. All right, so I hope this video was really helpful. In part three, we're going to talk about other things that you can do with this and explore other functions. The other thing I want to do is say, even in two dimensions, you can animate in two dimensions, and it's actually a really cool if you were presenting something to a professor. So hopefully I'll see you on that video.